There's five suburban permaculture ideas besides gardening. And the reason why it's besides gardening is because I didn't start out as a gardener and gardening actually isn't even my favorite part of permaculture. And so first let's start with a definition. And this isn't like a book read definition or chat GPT definition. Like this is just truly like me just kind of explaining permaculture to a friend. And it's like thinking about where you live as an ecosystem and just what's the most efficient, organic, bottom up, zero waste way of designing your space. And so the word like efficiency is probably the one that just works the most for my brain. And it's just about how do you think about all the inputs into your ecosystem? Like all, and I'm talking like energy, money, natural resources, time, like vibes, like everything, sunshine, like everything that's an input into this square footage, interior and exterior, where you are like sitting and existing every day. How can you design that in a way that creates the most like efficiency in the most positivity is like the way that I think about it. And so the reason why, and also then applying it to, you can do this in the suburbs. Like the suburbs don't have to just be these like boxes of resource using, like intense resource using things where we're all just kind of like on this treadmill of like trying to earn money and pay for things, trying to earn money and pay for things. Like you have the ability to think about your suburban home as an ecosystem and think about how to use all of the interior space and all of the exterior space and all of the people living with you all working together to kind of like create something positive. So that's what I think about. Um, so I think about the definition of permaculture in my brain. And these are five ideas outside of gardening because I think sometimes we only think about it from gardening perspective and we think you have to have like a lot of land in order to kind of start. Number thinking. one is solar. And I don't mean just putting a few solar panels on your roof, knocking off half your electricity bill and kind of just forgetting about it. I mean like truly rethinking the way you even think about energy at your home. And I wanna bring up the efficiency part that I talked about in the definition. A lot of the whole permaculture design is about preserving resources and making resources most efficient. A big resource that suburban families think about is money, like money and your monthly cash flow. A lot of times solar is talked about through the lens of, you know, good for the ecosystem, right? Good for reducing CO2, good for the environment. Like that's fine and good. What I want to talk about it is efficiency from your household perspective. And so financing solar panels and locking in to a flat rate solar financing can then eliminate your household electricity bill. And in the case of having an electric vehicle, your gas for driving the vehicle around. So that's what I mean by efficiency. You have whatever your level of income is, if that's an inbound resource, inbound resource. And then solar becoming an energy producer, you, you have a resource which is a roof, okay? You have square footage on top of your roof that is being hit with the sun every single day, and then you have money coming into the house that is being used to purchase energy every single month. Combine all of that potential into one thing, put solar panels on your roof for a flat rate monthly payment that replaces the fluctuating monthly payment to the electricity company and the fluctuating monthly payment to the gas vehicle. Number two is a smart home water monitor. When you strap the smart home water monitor onto your inbound water and it talks to the sensor inside your garage, then you have up to the minute analytics of how much water your whole house is using sent to your phone all the time. Combine that with number three, which is rainwater harvesting. And you now have analytics of all the water that your house uses and you're now a water producer. When you combine one through three, you now produce electricity and you produce water and you still have the ability to buy electricity from the grid and buy water from the grid. And you have analytics of how much electricity your house uses and how much water your house uses. That's how you start because what gets measured gets managed as you've heard before. And that's how you measure 
those inputs into your house and are able to kind of put them in context and do things about them to become more. Number four is multi-generation living and also just overall multi-use spaces. So here around our house, we're super thankful for this DR Horton house came with an attached ADU for our mother-in-law. We're also in the process of building this outside backyard garden office because my wife and I both work from home. And that's a way that we're able to make our life more efficient. As a lot of people have experienced, working from home increases the amount of hours you can spend with your family. It reduces your commute time, which is good for the overall environment, right? The overall ecosystem, but it's also good for your micro ecosystem. And that's what I like so much about like, applying permaculture design in the suburbs is your house, your lot, your family is an ecosystem. And so while all society is kind of like pressuring to think about large e ecosystem and large world problems, you're able to make like your square footage outside and inside that you have power and control over as efficient as possible, which increases yield for your own family. Number five is composting. And so another reason why I like this whole list is it's really good for kind of type A people that need kind of like mile markers and things to do. And I talked about at the beginning why I like, like permaculture design is more interesting to me than gardening in and of itself. And it's because of things like composting where you can kind of just nerd out and geek out on like getting the ratios correct. So you're like getting a short-term payoff by like learning how to do something, but you're also getting this long-term payoff by like actually improving the soil. Like our whole soil started out as just like fill dirt from a regular kind of just new build lot. But over the last year and a half, I've been able to just like dump the garden scraps and like, or no, actually not like food scraps. Like that's the other thing. It increases the efficiency of your food scraps. Like that's a feel good payoff inside when you're able to like throw away fruits and vegetables and throw away skins of things and things like that. And then knowing that you're like keeping that resource on site and building something. That's what it's all about for me is building something. And it also came out of this kind of like I was a personal finance nerd and now I'm enjoying becoming a permaculture nerd because it all comes from kind of being as efficient as possible. Like budgeting, you're trying to make every single piece of money go as far as you can and have it stack into your net worth. That's the same way I look at permaculture design for the suburbs is even a small thing as like an apple, like you bought, you use money to bring the apple on site or you grew the apple on site, but you most of the time you spent money, you bring the apple on site and then that core, the core that's left over, you eat it and have pleasure out of that. And then that core, you can still compost it and have that money, that resource that brought the apple on site, pay dividends into the future into your actual soil. And that's the way I see the solar panels on the house. Like you have this sun that's hitting the house every single day. How do you have that pour into the productivity of the household. So it's just looking at what are all the inputs, all the inputs, and how do you continue to have them stack on top of each other, stack on top, stack on top, and make things more valuable. So I've dove deep on kind of rainwater capture and solar in other videos. And this was just an overall wrapping of how I think about permaculture design, you know, in the suburbs. So click on these next ones and I'll see you over there.